Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is a session to help you sleep. It's called Let Me Bore You to Sleep. I think this is number two. I did the first one yesterday. Let me bore you to sleep. And the title is pretty evident as what this is about. It's it's not really I suppose about me boring you to sleep, but it kind of is at the same <laughs> at the same time. It's about me just talking. And while I talk, your mind closes down because there's no point in really giving that much attention to anything, really. And although you may find that your focus becomes much stronger on my voice as opposed to those sounds that may be around you or those thoughts that you may have been having and the more focus you give to my voice the more relaxed you become so only watch or listen to this session when you can safely close your eyes because this may cause drowsiness which you'd think would be quite a a good result for a sleep session never understood why those wardens were on pills actually had some sleeping pills a few years ago and it said may cause drowsiness uh, yeah that's kind of the point I wonder if anyone looks at those warnings and thinks oh no I can't take them does anyone actually take sleeping tablets and then goes to the doctors saying you didn't warn me that I might fall asleep if I took them so I just talk I just focus on this energy between us Sometimes I feel that falling asleep can be like working in a big office block, a big building, lots of offices, and you're there at night, and you basically, and I used to be a security guard years ago, and what we would do is go to the top of the building and turn the lights off check the windows are locked you know just check everything's fine kind of wind down turn off any computers that may be still on and just wind down the building in the same way that you can wind down your mind switching off those lights in the different offices and you can actually label those offices one office could be something that you've been thinking about 
maybe that office could be your child or your grandparent or your your father your mother your sister your uncle could be you know someone that maybe you've been thinking about and just turn that light off Because falling asleep listening to me, it's not amnesia. Because when you wake up, anything that was important to you to do before, maybe you had a, a to do list in your brain, will still be there. When you wake up, it gives you an opportunity to just let that go in the same way that you can turn that light off in that office. which holds your address where you live doesn't mean that you've forgotten where you live of course you're never going to forget that but it means you're not thinking about that it's no longer in your mind at this moment or a telephone number switch the lights off for the telephone number your own mobile or maybe the mobile that you've memorized from someone else if you've memorized any telephone numbers I only have about three memorized if you can switch those lights off for those numbers safe in the knowledge that they'll still be there when you wake up at the end of this session they'll still be there but it's not something that requires your attention now it doesn't it's of no importance in this moment maybe thoughts about what happened yesterday may be on your mind and you can switch those lights off you might have a couple of offices maybe three offices that represent what happened yesterday and you can go and switch the lights off For each of those offices and just leave it where it is in the same way as you're not I'm guessing you're not planning what you're going to be eating for lunch in three weeks time or four months time you don't need to think about it then so it's kind of that situation putting all the things that are in your mind at the moment into that category to that place It's not needed at the moment. In the same way that when you're in bed, you don't need to be wearing boots 
the shoes. When you go to, go to a holiday to a skiing resort, when you're in bed you're not wearing the skis, not wearing all the outfit and the goggles and the gloves. you don't need it when you're in bed you don't need that stuff until you go skiing in the same way with the thoughts in your mind you don't need any of that when you sleep it's unnecessary It can feel quite nice actually. I feel a bit like walking around with a, a big body of armour. You know, like the old knights from King Arthur. Big metal armour. protecting your upper body and your, your shoulders and your arms the thing about wearing armour is you're always going to be aware that you've got it on you because apart from the physical restrictions because I'm guessing if you were wearing a lot of heavy metal armour there's certain things you can't do like break dancing or ballet I suppose you know just as an example so it doesn't suit doesn't fit in with what you're currently doing And it can be a great relief of actually taking that heavy armour off and letting it drop to the floor and feeling that tension releasing. It can feel nice just to let go and as you look around your mind at what else is there what else pops up Maybe you can just let that go by turning the light off in that office, wherever that office is, in that building of your mind. It's a bit like if you've got four or five dogs you know you live they're your pets and you live with them and maybe you feed them separately so that they don't eat each other's food so you might maybe let two dogs have their dinner first while that's happening the other three dogs or four dogs however many you have they're getting prepared to eat in the same way that those other thoughts in your mind 
there's other thinking and worries and concerns maybe that were there before also prepares to release and just let go and move to that part where there's no worries no concerns no issues no interest just for this period of time so that your mind can be calm and relaxed and the rest of your mind starts to prepare itself to also relax and switch off like a domino effect and it's not just the things in your mind where you have worries or concerns or you know things maybe that you're maybe anxious about that you can let go of it's also the things that maybe have excited you something maybe you're looking forward to something that maybe something amazing has happened and your brain has become a bit overstimulated which is lovely maybe when you're awake and not so great when you're going to sleep so you can also let that stuff also move into that part of you that switches it off temporarily so there's no excitement there's no anger there's no interest no anxiety and does thoughts in your mind reduce one by one you start to notice when a new thought arises surprised what happens to that new thought as it tries to get your attention because it doesn't have the strength that maybe it would have had before you decided to give yourself and allow yourself some space to really let go to sleep deeply switching off those lights in that office block of your mind those thoughts, feelings all being switched off one by one and those lights that are still yet to be turned off have actually become weaker have actually become dimmer not so bright as they prepare to be turned off as your mind feels more at ease looser 
karma with very little going on and relax let go into a deep sleep of 